Oh yeah, education at its best. With entertainment. Compass Live. High School News. Only on High School Live. <laughs> Whenever high school life opens me out, a hundred tiny gems catch the fluorescent lights with a splash its wings and a specks of diamonds. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. This is the number one entertainment center, high school life right here in your midst. Follow, like, comment, and share whatever we showcase or explore to the world. We have in our midst, Honorable Owusu Efriye Christabel, she is currently the main head girl and the SRC president for Sewenyako Girls Senior High School. She is here in Media General Kumase Branch Ashanti Arena. Before she will mount this platform, let's go for a quick break. I'm also Dako Titus, your chit chat and show host for the talkative title show. Stay tuned, we're going to break. Oh, yeah, education at its best. With entertainment, Compass Live, High School News, only on High School Live. <laughs> Welcome, Honorable. How are you doing? I'm fine. I quite remember uh, way back in JHS. Hey, <laughs> you, 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 you had the first position. I remember everything, and the master said something like we should clap for you one hour and then first thing well congratulations though thank you um how are you doing i'm doing well by those friends how is governance going so far i'm sure by the grace of god should i give you the title as her excellency or her ladyship i prefer lady christabel lady christabel lady christabel i know you to be also a free christabel where from the miss curl Okay. Like, why is it not Miss Titus? <laughs> Miss Curl. Okay. Um, I have a friend of mine whose name is Kelly, and in order for the bond to become too tight, I decided to use the name uh, Miss Curl. Yeah. Miss Curl. You have a friend called Kelly. Yes. I'm your friend, right? Yeah. Why not Miss Titus? He's my bestie. Let me say it as such. Well, okay. And is it the M I S S? Or MSS? Whatever. Miss Curl. Any of them. Okay. MSS. Okay. How many activities do you participate in campus? Being the main head girl and the SRC president, do you know why I'm asking this question? Way back when we were in uh, SHS1, um, I saw your video competing vehemently, standing fervently to speak vehemently for your school during the Love FM High School debate. And we were in Form 1 at that time. Yeah. I also saw you participating in the National Science and Math Quiz during the trials for your school. So you do the two, you know here in Ghana, we have two gallons national quizzes. The National Science and Math Quiz and the National Independence Debate. You fall under these two competitions. And you know, you are currently the head girl. Like, what is the secret behind that? I'm skeptical. <laughs> well, okay, it's nothing really. When I came to SHS1, um, I was introduced into the NSM um, the team, by one of the teachers, the science teachers. Mm -hmm. And as time went on, I was also told to join the debaters club, and I was already interested in it. So I joined, I debated, and very well, it sounded good. And as time goes on, I've been doing both of them, but for the National Science and Math Quiz, for now, I somehow dropped. But in the meantime, yeah. Okay, what is the hindrance of you falling in love with debates? Because it sounds like you heard and you loved it to be a debater. Okay, I'm an outspoken person okay. and I like to express myself. I speak what I know. So, and you know, debate is about debating on emotion. You have emotion, you can stand for the motion against the motion. So, I like to express my views on certain motions. Yeah. And as a lady, I'm a feminist. So, I have to stand for the what Well, this news is circulating that whenever a boys' school is competing in a strong way, the girls, you use your angelic voice to overshadow the panel of judges 
and kicked out the boys. In 2020, the, com the Love FM High School debate competition between Osset to Senior High School and St. Monica's, it was four marks. 2021, the competition between Yasantwa girls and Osset to Senior High School, it was one mark. Okay. So they, 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 they are strategic now. They are coming live and colored. What if you meet them? What are you going to do? Well, we are not afraid, and my girls are already prepared for this debate. Okay. We are not losing. I learned they've also capitalized on the statement that whenever uh, a project was conducted and was established, that women, you the females, you are you 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 increased in sensitivity, and means uh, that the males are recipients of more sensitivity whenever they are with one woman, two women, or even competing with women. So in the females, you use that opportunity to influence the audience and the panel with your angelic voice. Is it true? No, it's not true. Let's make a uh, display. Taking the LG, for instance, you know the LG, the guys knows how to dance compared to the girls. Mm -hmm. So definitely they'll pick the boys over the girls during those LG, the dance moves and the, those kind of stuff. The same way when it comes to debates, we all have the voices, but the girls are the main topic here. So definitely, it's not that we give it to the boys, but we give it to those who deserve it. And definitely, you know, we the girls, yeah. Well, cherished viewers, we are not to deliberate right here, but the boys are also coming. Currently, Pemper College is a seeded school. Owas is a seeded school and Osage to Senior High School. They are coming like a lion. <sighs> are you not afraid about that? Okay, yeah, so um, way back in Pemper College Junior High, I remember everything about our campus uh, life during JHS. Pemper College Junior High. You were a dancer. I quite remember during the, um, was it an anniversary or it was yeah, graduation. Graduation, yeah. You danced. And after that, the educationalist congratulated and applauded you about the performance. I think they gave you a package. Are you a singer too? Yeah, I do sing. Part of acting. Are you an actress? Yes. So like you're more, you know you are more talented. Sure. Wow. Wow. Okay. So in National Science and Mass Weeks, how? Do you go? As in we serving young girls? Yes. Okay, we do prepare and my girls are really clever. They're really brilliant. We do go in for it and we have time for everything. We don't judge anything just like that. We have time for everything. So we believe it's not our time yet, but we have the thing to do it. Yeah. Okay, but it's more or less like here in the the reason why I'm asking uh, this person is most of the people normally ask with the students journalists that the only schools here in Ashanti region of which they compete hard on the top during the National Science and Mass Peace mm -hmm. is St. Louis Senior High School, St. Louis, yeah. Like, do you capitalize that to be a felicitated statement? No, I don't. Because, okay, if St. Louis near high school do participate in this kind of things, let's see, during the finals, do you see such girls? And even if you see them, it's, it's from the central region, yeah. outside the central okay. region. So I don't capitalize anything as the St. Louis girls. You know. They do well, yeah. They are so, doing well. What should we expect this year? As the main head girls, so when you're girls in your high school and the SRC president, I linked you, you, according to the constitution, that is the ARSRC constitution, the president is the chief spokesperson of the council yeah. and you representing the students, but what should we expect from you? The coming uh, Love FM High School debate and the National Science and Mass Okay, for the Love FM High School debate, we are in and we are coming for it. For the National Science and Mass Quiz also, we started the trials, we ran to cars the last time and we won. We competed with the cars, guys and girls, yes, and we won. So we definitely have the thing in us for us to aspire for this kind of thing. So. Okay. Big shout outs to you, Honorable Cars SRC President, wherever you are. Um, Honorable, this news was circulating that uh, the authorities want to change the name of your school 
from Sewenya Pu Girls Senior High School to Osage Two Girls Senior High School. What is the secret behind that? Well, um, frankly speaking, I've not heard anything as such, and I don't know anything about this. From Sewenya Pu Girls to OT, yeah. I've not heard anything about it. If so, they've not made it clear to us if they are talking about it. I don't, I don't know. Please. I'm not to say come locate yet, but it is it is everywhere. It's trending. Really? Yes. They want to change the name or uh, like change it from Sewenya Ko Girls to Ose to I heard something like that and I did my personal investigation as Is it because you are from old team? Oh that, no 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 that, that's not the secret. Hello charged viewers, that's not the secret. But the thing is No, you're trying to mean because you are from old team. We as Ko Girls want to be hard. No. <laughs> okay, the, no. Whenever I'm on set and I'm, I'm, I'm working. I forget about my school. Really? Yes. Though I'm a proud member and I love to be a proud member, but we make business during sets. And the thing is, not me from that school. The boys, they were elated. They were tantalizingly out of reach. For me, myself, when I, like, whenever they hear about Honorable Titles, hello, have you heard they want to change? And I was like, wow, currently, their head girl is my best friend of which uh, I will ask. So I wanted to use this platform, High School Life, the number one entertainment center, to ask this person. Well, I've not had anything as such. Okay. And the headmistress has not made anything known to us. And known to me as the such person. Okay. Um, during the ARSRC Congress, I met you. Yeah. And I met one of your, 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 your executives. She came for the writers and latest president's regional. Yeah. Currently, what position is she having? Oh, she's not a local the BDS president. Yeah, since we didn't get the original, she went in. Okay. The local. She she she's oops, very very good. Like she's very very good. I had an interview with her, just a short chat chat with oh, her. Oh yeah, she's really clever. Okay. During the regional presidential debates, mm -hmm. it's it's a strategic one. Like, what were you expecting from? Honorable Amanfo, each and every one thought that Amanfo would be crowned. Honorable Ofori Amanfo, he is currently the special advisor, Premier College SRC. Big shout outs to you. People thought he will be crowned as the regional president, but like you unfortunately, Honorable Amadelansi, the lady learning from Queen Yasantwa, the Ejos Supreme, she's bold enough to compete with Mills. Sure. Like I I I am I'm, I'm confused. Really proud of like, what were you expecting from them? And like, how did you feel when you heard the female won the regional president? Like I saw it to be a status quo that she would definitely win. Why? Yeah, from everything I saw from her, like, like it depicts everything. As a leader, she does everything. The sort of a leader, and I don't understand the characters from. Uh, Honorable Amafo and the rest, no. There is a oh, no. I don't dispute the fact that they are also they also have those characters as a leader. But I saw something in Amadilasi and I knew definitely she would win. You know the reason why I'm asking this question. Um, during the presidential debates, I, I recognized something. The educationalists didn't allow the females to go on one path. In the meals they like they mixed them, they made a necessity. I I quite remember Amada Lansi was the first person yeah. in the arrangement. Honorable Amanfo was next to Amada Lansi, yeah. and they, they blended them. Yeah. What? How was the performance? Oh. And what did you expect from Honorable um, Theresa Kufour? There's currently she is there. Since Monica's head of protocol, protocol head girl, Honorable Theresa for big shout outs to you wherever you are. What did you expect from her as a lady? Because I learned here is the lady supports the lady. Sure. That is why that is the main reason why when a lady was crowned original president, the girls were jubilating out. Like, why? Do you get something? Well, for me, I don't study for the lady. I'm a feminist though, but when it comes to duties as a leader. It's not about a lady doing it. Anyone can do it. Only if you depict the characters of the leader. And for Honorable Teresa, um, frankly speaking, I didn't get to know her well, so I can't speak much about her. And I wasn't expecting anything from her. Was, my interest was really in 
Honorable Ama Ama Fo and the current vice president would not be yeah. vice president. She, she from Opoku High Senior High School. Okay. How do you see the relationship between Honorable Obusuda Kotaitos and Honorable is it Che or Jay, the current WDS president? The WDS president? Yeah. Oh, I forgot to Jesse. Jesse. Is it? It's not Jesse. Yalba. Yeah, yeah. Because I learned when he was reading his manifesto, Honorable Sudako Titus just like he was attacking him with a lot of questions. Many people thought uh, he, he went for that position and he was opted out during like, is it a reason? But don't you think what Honorable Titus was doing is the best because he wants the best for the society as a debater and as a writer as well. That is why he was attacking the book. Like, what's your perception? Was it an attack? For me, you're my friend though, but I'm not going to say anything in favor of you. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying the fact. Looking at certain things, you see, when you want a position, you do your best to put in everything in order to get it. And I don't dispute the fact that you have the characteristics to be the, the previous president, and he also had it. But the way he put things along didn't work well for him, though. But anyway, he won, and yeah, yeah. I got the congratulations to you, Honorable Yalba Opokuar, senior high school. He is currently the ARSRC WDS president. Big shout outs to you wherever you are. Okay, Honorable, yeah, and uh, this motion. It's, it's, it has been a quite pleasure that people are deliberating on it. Come forward a little bit for me. Okay. People are deliberating about it. Juveniles should be tried and treated as adults. It has been a subject for deliberation over several decades. Juveniles should be tried and treated as adults. I think it was the motion the school was deliberating on during the national independence debates. How do you see the motion? Okay, yeah. With this modern world, this motion should be really talked about. And I stand for the motion at the same time against the motion. You know, when juveniles are tried as adults, they don't have those things like the tendency to think as adults, for them to be tried as adults. And also, when they are not tried as adults, they will feel relaxed that even, even when I do this, I won't be panicked. So definitely, I'm going in for this. But it's also not a Okay, as a, I want that part. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, per what our honorable is saying, according to scientists, juveniles are biologically and psychologically fit to be treated as such. Yes, they are biologically and psychologically fit to be treated as such. That is why when you go to earlychildhood.qld.gov.a, it states the baby brain begins to develop before birth and between two to eight months. The baby tries to cooperate with adults whenever they cry, sneeze, cough, or yell. So if the emotional faculties of a baby, less than attentively, tries to develop at such a tender stage of its development, how on earth could a juvenile practice ridiculous, ludicrous, and repellent acts and become so naive to the fact that they should not be tried and treated as adults? I believe they should be tried and treated as adults. And going uh, constitutionally, Without prejudice and mincing words, capitalizing on the chapter 5, that is the fundamental human rights of the 1992 yeah. Constitution of the Republic of Ghana. I think it speaks for the rights of juveniles. Sure. I've forgotten the clocks. I learned it. Today, juveniles have capitalized on that uh, statement where the Constitution speaks for them. They've capitalized on that and other constitutional provision anomalies to perpetuate evil. Don't you think if we try and treat them as adults, it will make them responsible and accountable? Sure. When you try them as adults, they will think twice before doing anything. Because you can't tell me I'm a juvenile, sorry, I'm a child, so I'm doing this. You know, and outside the country, there are other countries who try um, juveniles as adults, there are other states who try juveniles as adults. But here in Ghana, we don't do that. So this has given the tendency for other children to try all these kind of stuff, knowing that I will be tried as an adult. So I think the government should also do something about this. Okay. Cherished viewers, stay tuned. We're going for a quick break. We will come back bringing to you the rest of the chit chat. This is once again the talkative title show. Stay tuned. Oh yeah, education at its best. With entertainment, compass life, high school news. 
only on High School Live. <laughs> Welcome back, cherished viewers. This is once again the talkative title show right here in your midst. Stay tuned. Follow the number one entertainment center, High School Live. Comment, share, and like everything that we showcase to the world. I said it earlier on that since we are well trained in regards to the rudiments of communication, we will see to it that every chit chat that we do will be something that you're expecting and we will follow what you want as our cherished viewers. Stay tuned. Honorable, yeah. welcome back. Thank you. How do you see the talkative title show? Oh, it's amazing. Wow. It's really interesting. Thank you. Well, we are in the riddle aspects. <laughs> Okay, what is the name of the president whom people tap to be a crack gangster? Come forward a little bit. Get a crack gangster. Yeah, the president whom people tap to be a crack gangster. President of Ghana. Ghana. Yes. Oh sure, this is let's see. Um... <laughs> exactly, exactly. I thought you were coming to say uh, uh, President Kofor. People tagged Anro, uh, His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Ekufu Ado to be a cockroach gangster. Okay. I'm a wet. I'm a wet. My first five letters, it sweetens the tongue of others. My first five letters sweetens the tongue of others, but my last four letters, my last four letters, people hate it. Who am I? I'm a word. Really, interesting. Wow. Calms down. <laughs> Can you please? Um, a hint. Okay, I'm a wet. Uh -huh. For this wet, my first five letters sweetens the tongue of people. Mm -hmm. But my last four letters, people hate it, especially students. Who am I? Wow. Don't be discombobulated, <laughs> flabbergasted, or astonished. Don't be vexed. This is the talkative title show. It's a little bit complicating, but stay tuned. Capitalized on the letters, the word, you will get the answer. When you get the answer, kindly comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel, High School Life Africa. Follow the number one entertainment center, High School Life Africa on Instagram. Comment and give us the, nans the answer about this word. Who am I? Um, can you give me the first letter of the word? The first letter of the word is letter S. Wow. S. Okay. One. And the last letter? Last letter is E. Wow. How many letters? Please. <laughs> one. Oh, I'm I'm count no. I'm counting one to I understand, five. But you first give me how no. many letters? I'm not going to do second locutions here because for many people, like, I, I don't go into deep like that. Oh, yeah. I'm counting five. One. Uh. <laughs> Two. Is it um, sweet? Three. No. Three. Four. Sugar. Sugar cane. Correct. Sugar cane <laughs> is the answer. Wow. You're, you, are you a writer or a debater? I'm a debater. Debaters, both in confidence, intellectuals. Sure. Exploring with the intelligence. Yeah. So you've explored your intellectual ability mm -hmm. right here. It's sugar cane. But still, we want answers from you being our cherished viewers. Comments on Instagram and YouTube, High School Life Africa. Any word for our cherished viewers or any statements? Okay. Hi, viewers. Um, as you already know, I'm Christabel. My IG name is Misko. Okay, so I'll edge you all. Basically, the form for you today, as always, is coming. Please, let's learn, okay? Let's not depend on the 
So it's money and those kind of stuff, okay? And please, let's do all soon. Stay focused in life. Focus. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this is once again the Talkative Title Show. I'm also Daku Titus, your host for the Talkative Title Show. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, education at its best with entertainment, campus life, high school news. Only on high school life. <laughs>